So when you begin a massage session, it's usually best to start with resting position. It's basically just laying the hands on top of the sheet. No, no weight, it's just the weight of your hands and the weight of your forearms on the sheet. And ask your client to take some nice deep breaths in. What you're trying to do is establish a breathing pattern with your client. You're getting them accustomed to what your touch feels like. And it's non-threatening, it's just a way for the two of you to initially connect with each other. Once the client has taken maybe three to four nice deep breaths, we'll start a technique called stroking. And stroking is simply done by pulling your hands towards you, just in a straight line. One hand is always in contact with the body. And even though this is a superficial or it's a technique that's not very, done very deep, it's nice to have good contact with the client. It lets the client know the area that we're going to be working in. So once you've done stroking, I'm going to start with some compressions into the back. Again, it's very important to have good body mechanics here. So I've got my lunge leg right at the side of the face cradle. My back leg is extended back so that I have nice balance, I have nice posture, and I can just lean and sink into the tissue and not work with any upper body strength. It's just strength from my lower body. Now what I've done is I've done compressions down each side of the spine. I'm not right on the spine, I'm just to the side. I'm just doing some nice compressions to initially start to warm the tissue up. You can also do forearm compressions. Again, I'll kind of sink my leg a little bit deeper back so that I put my body closer to the client and I can just do some nice forearm compressions. It's a larger tool so you'll get a larger area. I can move to the side of the back and have a reinforced open palm and start in the low back and apply pressure. Again, my weight is on my back foot solely right now. Lift up and I'm just moving my weight, moving my hand up the client's back. Just a nice weight push on the back foot. Here again I can use a forearm compression. Again, I want to be careful that I'm not on the client's spine. I'm just lateral to that and compress in, hold, lift up, compress, hold. You can even kind of rock the body back and forth a little bit. It kind of helps the body relax a little bit more. And then, of course, I could repeat all of these compression techniques to the other side of the back before I undrape the client. So you want to address the entire back with all your compressions first. To undrape the back, I'm simply going to come to my client's waist. My client currently has undergarments on, so I'm going to tuck the sheet into the undergarment first before I pull the sheet down. So I'm simply going to tuck three times into the undergarment, take this flap of the sheet, pull it down until the tucks actually stop me. I need to make sure that the posterior superior iliac spine bones are out from under the sheet. If they are not, I'm simply going to roll the sheet under a couple of times so that I do in fact feel those PSIS. Lastly, I'm going to tuck the sheet under the client's waist. It's nice to keep contact with the client as you move around the table. And remember, when you are tucking the sheet, it's always best to tuck the sheet down with your fingers pointing down 
never with your fingers pointing up. This will not make the client feel comfortable. Always down. And push the sheet into the table and under the body. Once the client is undraped, I can go back and do a few more compressions right onto the skin. Again, now that the client has become somewhat accustomed to your touch, you can really start to add more of your body weight. So push even harder on that back foot. Again, I can come to the side and use my forearms. Is that pressure okay? Yes. And again, check in with your client. Make sure that everything is okay. Another technique that we can use is called skin rolling. And basically what you're doing is picking up the skin between your thumb and fingers. The thumbs act as a plow and the fingers feed the tissue into your thumbs. So this is considered dry work, so you would do this before you add any lotion and I can start at the spine and move outward. Start at the spine, move outward. It will be more comfortable for the client if you pick up as much tissue as possible and that you move slowly with the technique. And again, I would do all of this to the entire back before I ever add my lotion. All the dry work has to be done before you add lotion. So you're simply picking the tissue up, pushing with your thumbs, feeding the tissue in with your fingers. You need to be careful, especially if you have a female client, not to come too far to the front of the body. You've got to be very mindful of breast tissue. But I'll keep moving down the back. a nice way to get the tissue warmed up and you can also use skin rolling as an assessment tool to kind of find out where there are areas that are a little bit more hypertonic or tight than another. Just remember where those are and focus more of your specific work in that area. I can also do skin rolling right down the middle of the back. Again it's just like a wave and I'm feeding the tissue in with my fingers. One last type of dry work we can do is called a fascial spreading. So in the low back, because of the thoracolumbar aponeurosis, it's very hard to do skin rolling in this area. It's usually pretty adhered down. So what I'm going to do is do a cross hand technique where I am going to push down on the client's hip with my head, my hand closest to their head. My other hand is going to cross over. Here is the client's spine, so I'm on this side of the spine. And I'm slowly going to push on the hip and let my hand that is pointing towards her head slowly spread this tissue apart. Again, with any type of dry work, you want to be patient. Don't force it. Let it move on its own. I can go up about halfway, pick my hands up, and slide my body up, reposition, and continue the technique up the back, just so I have good body mechanics as I do it. I'm not letting my arms cross over too much. So the idea is we're just kind of spreading the tissue, warming it up. You'll notice that the client's back is starting to get red, which is a good sign that local blood flow is coming into the area. It's called hyperemia. And then we're ready. After we do work, dry work to the entire back, I can start applying my lotion.